Hi everyone, I'm Deb Marnie from Aussie Mail and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your very own European 4-in-1 seashell pendant. Now European 4-in-1 is a weave that's aimed at beginner mailers so even if you haven't had a lot of experience in chain mail you should be able to do this particular tutorial with no problems at all and before you know it you're going to have an absolutely stunning piece of jewellery that you can wear. Okay guys, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, here's a, a sample of uh, the piece when it's finished. As you can see, it's just a nice soft little seashell type shape. Anyway, the materials you will need to finish this project. Um, for the rings, you'll need two colours. Uh, we're using here um, 18 gauge AWG which is 1.0 diameter wire uh, with a ring ID of 9 64 or 3.57 millimeters uh, for both of the colors you'll need in total 116 rings of the AA and 55 rings of the BA the bright aluminium the silver colored rings You'll also need to complete this one larger ring. So this is 14 gauge AWG, 1.6 millimeter. It has um, an inside ID of 9.5 mils or 3 eighths of an inch if you work in metric. Okay, so to start with, um, I would recommend enclosing um, up 20 of your AA rings and all the rest of the rings need to be opened. Um, you don't have to open them all in advance, you can just open small amounts as you move along in the project. Um, that's totally up to you. Okay, and you'll also need a twist tie or a paper clip, something like that that you've got handy uh, to help hold your weave into place. All right, so to start this um, piece it uses European 4-in-1 um, so I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to move these out of focus so that they're not in your way. Okay all right so we take up one of our opened bright aluminium rings and on that we're going to put two closed AA rings so one two and we're going to close that up. And then we're going to take our twist tie, we're going to put it through that bright aluminium ring. Okay, that gives us a starter point, keeps the weave in control and gives you a much needed handle, uh, especially with such small rings. Um, it's nice to have the handle to hold on to. All right, so we want to position our rings like this so that they create like mouse's ears and you've got the forehead looking at you. Okay so once you've got your rings positioned like that take up another opened ring. Now we want to feed this through the front of our ear on the right. We're going to bring it around, twist it up and bring it through the back of the ear on the left and before we close that we're going to pop on two of our pre-closed rings and we're going to close that up. Okay, and then we position the rings again so that we've got the ears and the forehead looking at us. And we just repeat that step until we've used up all of our pre-closed anodized aluminium rings. Okay, and open it up, form the ears. I'll show you that again. Okay, so we're taking our open ring, holding our ring so that we've got the ears looking at us, the forehead at the front. We put it down through the front of the ear on the right and up through the back of the ear on the left and before we close it we add two more pre-closed jump rings 
close our ring up, flip them into position, and continue weaving like that all the way until we use up all of our pre-closed rings, which means we've got 10 rows because we've got 20 pre-closed rings, two per row. Okay, so through the front, twisting it up so it comes up through the back. And then before we close, we add two more jump rings. Close it up. Move those jump rings into position. Okay, so, so you've just got your two pre last two pre-closed rings. Put them in position like you have been doing. Take out one more open ring and feed it through the ears like you have previously. But this time we don't put any closed rings on. We just close that up. Okay. So that's what you've got so far. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the right hand side of this weave first and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the other half. Okay, so we've got one row here of AA. We're going to add another row down here. So taking up one of your AA or anodized aluminium jump rings. Go up to the first two here. And what we want to do is we want to put the jump ring, let's see if I can get this close enough for you, through this eye that's formed here where the jump rings overlap. You can see that. So taking our, our open AA ring, okay, so up through the back of the second ring and up through the back of the first ring. We don't add any extra rings, we just close that. And we want to keep adding rings down the length of our piece. So this time we come up through the back of the third ring and up through the back of the second ring. Moving down the row. Come up through the back of the fourth ring, which is the first loose ring there that doesn't have a ring through it already, and up through the back of the ring previous to that. Close it up. And we just keep doing that all the way down the length of the row. So I'll just do that and I'll meet you back here uh, when it's finished. Okay, so when you get to the bottom of the row, we've gone through the last ring, but you can see we're still one ring short here. We want it to look the same as this row over here. So we're going to need to add a, an additional ring just through that last ring there. Okay, so we just put it through the last ring and close it up. And although it's loose there now, you don't need to worry about that. Once we start building, it will tighten up. But you can see we've got this ring here. So these two rows are the same and then these alternate rows are the same. So we're going to want to produce that all the way along the bottom to keep a nice straight looking edge. The edge though up the top you can see that our rings are decreasing and that will happen all the way along and that's what we want for the top, for the top to decrease but we want the bottom to stay pretty much as straight as we can get it. Okay, so once you've done that one row, we want three, three rows here of blue. So we've got two, we need to do that again in the blue so again, we go back up to the top of our weave. This time we're going to weave into the front of our piece. So we go through the second, through the front of the second, through the front of the first, 
and we'll close that up. And we just move down the line like we were previously. So th through the front of the first, through the front of the second, you can see that that ring just naturally slips in behind the one before. Okay, so just keep working your way down that row and I'll meet you back here when it's done. Okay, so as we get to the end of that row, okay, we can see that the ring that we put in previously is now being held in place by this ring here. We don't need to add any more additional rings because this finishes at the same spot as the alternate row before it finishes. So that's fine. Okay, so now we've got our three rows of AA or our anodized aluminium. We now want to put in a single row of our bright aluminium rings. So again, we go up to the top as we have before, this time picking up um, a bright aluminium ring. And we're going to work into the back of the weave. So up through the back of number two and the back of number one. And we'll close that up. And as before, just work all the way down the side until you reach the end. And I'll uh, meet you there. So again, we've got to the end of this row. We've used up all our pairs, but you can see from the alternate row before it, we're one ring short. So we're just going to pop one ring by itself through the last ring there. Okay, so we've just placed our bright aluminium row. We're now going to do the same all the way um, down to the end. So again, we do three rows of anodized aluminium. Then we do one row of bright aluminium and one row of anodized aluminium. And I'll uh, meet you there when you're finished. Okay, so we're just placing our last ring in there for our right hand side. So that's one half of the piece done. So you can see the graduation down the top and the straight line across the bottom. So now what we do is we flip our work over and we do exactly the same on the other side. So making sure they're all sitting properly. We need to do two more rows of anodized aluminium, a row of bright aluminium, three rows of anodized aluminium, a row of bright aluminium, and we finish up with one more row of anodized aluminium. So I'm going to go and do that now and I'll meet you back here when we're done. Okay, so we're up to our last row, which is a row of AA rings. And final ring. Okay. So your piece now looks like this. We've got a straight edge along here, our graduating edge on the other side. 
pattern down the middle is BA, then we've got on each side three rows of AA, one row of BA, sorry, three rows of AA, BA, and we finish up with an AA ring. Okay, so our next step now is to add the rings that we're going to attach our large center ring to. So remove your twist tie and everywhere that you see a BA ring up here at the top on the straight edge, we're going to add two more BA rings. So just on the BA section, add two BA rings, just going straight through that ring there so that they hang off. You do that to every BA uh, row or column along the top, making sure you pick up that topmost ring. Remembering this is for BA rows only. We miss all the AA rows. Um, that gives us the nice uh, scalloped, rippled look that we're looking for, like a seashell has. So two of those in every row along the edge, along our straight edge. Nearly done. This one and the two. One more to go. Now I'm just using the same size rings that we used in the weave, which was the 964 or 3.57 millimeter ID. Okay. So our work should look like this two dangles off each of the silver rows that we've got. Now we want our large 14 gauge ring. Just open that up. And we're going to feed that through each of those pairs. So just make sure that the pairs are facing all the same way, that they're not twisted. And just go through and pick up each of those pairs. Okay. Once you've got them all, you can see the the ripple effect, the scalloping that that creates. You can go ahead and close that ring up. And that's it. You've completed the seashell pendant. Now to attach that to a necklace, I just took two more of the same sized rings, fed them through the uh, big ring and before closing um, put the chain through them and close them up. Uh, that ring may depend on what size necklace you're using um, so you may want to change that if you've got a much thicker one but it's quite a generous size it should fit quite a few different chain lengths in there. So there you go an anodized aluminium bright aluminium seashell pendant hey guys thanks so much for joining me today and I really do hope that the tutorial uh, was of some benefit for you and you were able to um, enjoy it and make a stunning piece of jewelry so look if you do have any questions or comments about this tutorial please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, also, in the description tab below this video um, are our links to all our social media. So if you want to share with us the pieces that you've made, then, you know, tag us on Instagram, pop it up on the wall on our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you guys are actually doing. Um, it would be fabulous to see. Also in the description uh, tab below the video is the links to our online store where you can buy all the components and the tools that we used here. 
Uh, so pop in, check us out, see what we've got. We've got a huge range of, of everything that you could need for Chang Mao. And look, guys, if you did enjoy our free tutorial today and you'd like to um, help with us uh, producing more of these free tutorials for you, then don't forget to give us the good old thumbs up, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It all helps in its own way, and uh, we'll be able to produce more of these tutorials for you in the future. So again, thanks so much for popping in and joining us today, um, and I hope that we'll see you next time. And until then, happy mailing.